Hi guys, Ella here from Dig Deep Gardening for Life. Today's mission is going to be to pot up these tomatoes. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge that, yes, it is autumn. <laughs> uh, but I'm just going to see if they go. These were actually, um, you can see, they were laterals that uh, had come off. So I figured I might as well do something with them. I was going to put them in the same pot, but this one is um, got a bit of what looks to be mould and has started to decay at the bottom. So I'll definitely chop that bottom part off. I'll give it a bit of a wash and I'll put it in a separate pot so it doesn't contaminate this very, very healthy one. Uh, just in case you don't know, if you've ever looked up close at your tomatoes, they have these little nubbly bits. Each and every single one of those little nubbly bits is a potential root. And all I've done to propagate these is put a stem in water and I've ignored them for probably too long. They've been in there for a, a few weeks now. But I've been busy, and that's okay. That's part of gardening. Uh, so yeah, a lateral branch that I have put in water and is going to make an entire new plant. I've got a couple of um, very healthy tomato plants left in my garden as well, so I might try and get a couple more and stagger them and see what happens. And as I said, I'm going to grow these in the greenhouse because they will be too, too cold if I put them outside. I should say this is highly experimental. I haven't done it personally, although I know of others that have. Uh, whether or not it would work for you depends on your climate, depends on your greenhouse, depends on your um, stickability, I guess. How, how committed you are to getting tomatoes in winter. My daughter eats tomatoes by the kilo. So if I can grow them and not be paying like $15, $16 a kilo in the winter, then that would be great. Um, and if it doesn't work, then all I've lost is a little bit of time and maybe some enthusiasm. <laughs> Having cut this one, I put the focus for me, it is quite brown in there. I might take it up a little bit further and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm having to do things off screen at the moment because I don't have the uh, camera holder thing. Um, but still, it has that brown centre, so it, which is all full of water. So this may or may not survive. It might surprise me, and as I say, I'll wash that, um, that mildewy mould off. These have been in my house, so... That one was obviously just a bit further down in the water to have captured that. This one I'm not going to trim this off. I'll just show you. I'll give it a bit of a squeeze. So I can squeeze that. Oh, yuck. <laughs> I can squeeze that quite hard and it's quite woody. So if I were to cut that there, then I'd be creating a fresh wound. And um, that's not going to bode well for our plant. So I'm not concerned about that one at all. And I'll just pop it in. What I'll do with this one is I'm going to take off the lowest lying leaf and I'm going to plant it up to about where my thumb sits so that's how deep it will be in the soil and I'm also going to remove uh, the top I'll do that part on camera for you so that you can see what I mean and why I do it and this one here same deal I'm going to take off the lowest branch so that I can get a decent amount of stem in the soil so again up to where my thumbnail is and I will pinch the top out of there as well so let me pop them in pots there we go, just like a bought one. So as promised, I've taken off the lower uh, branches off both of them. And what I'll do is I will just come into the middle there and I'm going to pinch that out. So I got a little bit hasty and I took some of that the flowering there. That's too much for that little plant. So this is now going to get taller and it will uh, end up with more branches lower down. It's a little bit of a short plant to be doing that with, but uh, tomatoes are notoriously resilient. Um, which is also why I don't mind putting them in smaller pots to start with. This one, for example, the uh, bottom of the stem is pretty much at the bottom of the pot, but you saw how many roots were coming off it. It will thrive. So same deal. I'm going to come into here and I'm going to pinch out the top. Because I've just planted it, I want it to focus its energy on roots, not on fruit, and we'll get rid of those flowers. Uh, and I might stake that one so that it goes up instead of sideways that's damaged so I'll take that off so the plant doesn't waste energy trying to heal it or fix it or kill it off whatever it's going to do it needs all its precious energy to become established the only thing I will say about putting these in smaller pots is that you need to make sure that you keep the food up to them so a bit of nutrients here and there I'm a big fan of seaweed based fertilizers I use it for all of my plants so I'm not having to have six different types of fertilizers in the cupboard um, and I've used the cheapest number eight compost that I just buy it from Mitre 10 it's um, 
six or seven dollars a bag and I'll just show you it's got a uh, wonderful I mean it's just a little chunk there it's got wonderful chunks of manure the whole way through um here we go loads of um browns if you will loads of carbon based stuff and a good amount of nutrients so yeah for starters I think it's fantastic and it's so cheap and it can be used as mulch or soil or whatever the only other thing I would recommend when using pots for anything this is just a general rule I go by is make sure you don't get any weeds in your pots uh reason being because weeds just zap up precious precious nutrients so um yeah they don't need to be growing in your pots your plants need to be growing in your pots great so because we're not having frosts just yet I have put these into my trolley um that's sitting underneath a tree so it gets a little bit of protection from the sun um which will be great because they've just come outside so when you first bring plants from inside to outside you should harden them off which basically just means don't put them out in direct sunlight because then all of their delicate little foliage will cook these guys will be fine again tomatoes are really resilient and a little bit of water will collect in the bottom of there they'll get a good drink and then i will pop them into the greenhouse just a short one for you guys today i hope that there was some valuable content in there if you enjoyed the video please do give it a like um, and hit the subscribe button that helps me loads and uh, if you have any questions definitely hit me up in the comments i'm happy to help wherever i can and i'll do my best to let you know how i go growing tomatoes outside in a greenhouse in southern central hawke's bay new zealand where it gets very 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 cold in the winter so fingers crossed i'll let you know <laughs> take it easy bye